Welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we're talking about Gotham Knights again and the 30 FPS cap for Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Now, I made a video yesterday talking about this, and man, I'm a little bit disappointed in you guys. 75% dislikes, man? Are you serious, guys? This channel has a 90 or above rating when it comes to like versus dislike. I don't understand why you guys would dislike that video when I'm simply telling you, hey man, wait for this game to go on sale. There's a lot of red flags with Gotham Knights right now and the quality of the uh, the quality of the project, just what's going on. And now that we're hit with the news that this is going to be a 30 FPS game, $70 guys, that's all I'm saying, man. I'm saying you can wait an extra month until Black Friday deals come out and you can probably snag that thing for half price. It's going to feel so much better to play that game knowing that you only had to pay half price for that as opposed to paying full-fledged $70, man. Did you know if I buy that on PC, they're not, I'm not paying that extra $10 tax. It's $59.99 on PC, and I'll get a way better version of that game running at a way higher frame rate than 30 frames per second. Now, granted, I do have to spend a lot more money on the PC to be able to achieve that <coughs> than just an average $500 console, but come on, guys. That is pretty disappointing that you guys downvote that video so much over, over me being like, hey, guys, save yourself some money. It'll be a better experience at 60 frames a second. Now, you're probably wondering why are we swinging around in Spider-Man why we're talking about this? Because I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why right now. This is the PC version of Spider-Man, uh, the remastered version. I'll be picking up Miles Morales next month when that comes out too. But as you can see, just the uh, extra added fidelity, visuals, the, uh, the higher frame rate, the adjustable field of view going from you know what it was normally at to this 21.9 screen it greatly enhances the experience combat feels better swinging feels more realistic and more refined it it's an overall better experience now i'm not saying that gotham knights is going to be a bad experience just because it's 30 frames per second no man we've been playing games at 30 frames per second for the longest time what I'm saying is now that we are used to playing games at 60 frames a second, well, almost, well, dynamic <laughs> FPS. <laughs> yeah, that, that's basically what it feels like to me on the consoles is we get dynamic FPS now. Um, very rarely are they locked to 60 frames a second, but when they do, they're good. It's a much better experience. You can't tell me since you've had your, your Xbox Series X or your PlayStation 5 that playing games at 60 frames a second has not 100% made your gaming experience a better experience overall now i know it has i feel like it has like the first thing i played on my on my series x was assassin's creed valhalla and that experience was freaking incredible it, it felt better it ran better the, the gameplay was better because of it so that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you can't tell me that a game like Gotham Knights that doesn't have... Like, look at all these pedestrians out here. This game runs at 60 frames a second on PlayStation 5 at 1800p. I am more concerned... I mean, I used to, like, really be like, Oh my gosh, 4K, I gotta have 4K. I would much rather have the 60 FPS over the 4K and the ray tracing on the consoles any day of the week. This game here right now, I'm running with max ray tracing, everything's set out. I'm running this on the 3080 uh, graphics card, so I've got more than enough power to run Spider-Man at high frame rates and, and be able to really take advantage of all the visual features on this game. And that's just what I'm saying, like, these consoles, your Xbox Series X and your PlayStation 5, they're more than capable of running 60 frames a second. And if you can look at a game like Spider-Man and, re and remember that, hey, dude, this launched on PlayStation 4 and this looks incredible. Look at all these pedestrians. Look at all these cars. Like, like, look at this. It does not look like there's that many people out there running around on the streets in Gotham Knights. It just doesn't. All the video game footage I've seen, it's it's just barren streets with nobody there. But look at this. And there's this many people when you're playing on the PlayStation 5. 
there's still a lot of you know a lot of pedestrians on that version as well so it's like wait a minute what's really going on here and they want to tell talk about it being they want to simply talk about it being like that because of the fact that the game is coming it's going to be multiplayer well let this sink in man the next spider-man is probably going to be running um is is going to have you know possibly you know being able to play as miles morales as well as peter parker so if that's the case and that game's going to be locked at 30 frames a second too like ooh man that's that's pretty rough because i personally i'm gonna i mean i want to play it the day it comes out but if it's locked at 30 frames a second as well on the on the freaking ps5 man i'm just gonna buy it on the pc a year later when it comes out uh that, that really is gonna suck but yeah i don't know man that this experience right here playing at higher frame rate the 21.9 support oh this is incredible if we could get one more, just one more feature from these consoles, I, I would just really love 21.9 support because look at, just look at how freaking smooth this gameplay is with Spider-Man. Gosh, this feels so incredible now. I've got already 40 freaking hours into this on on the PC just because I'm like, woo, this is incredible. Just swinging here all day long and pulling off some amazing freaking swinging maneuvers yeah this is freaking cool this is great so i'm i'm disappointed that you guys are that mad about about that video i made that that really sucks man i like to try to keep this channel you know with a higher like ratio and i'm just a gamer just like you man i'm nobody special i just buy a lot of video games man and i decided to create a youtube channel because I buy a lot of video games, man, and I'm just trying to help you save a little bit of money because I do too, man. I buy these games day one and then I'm usually stuck with, you know, a buggy mess or, you know, inconsistent freaking frame rate or whatever's going on. And I'm just trying to help you guys. Just trying to say, look, man, if this is something that we can just wait another month until Black Friday, we're going to probably get a pretty dang good deal just by waiting. And then the 30 FPS thing won't sting as much. 70 bucks it just that just feels like it's gonna sting a little bit man especially like have you tried to go back and play any of these games at 30 frames a second after playing everything at 60 go back and try to play spider-man or or batman arkham knight or origins or any of them games try to go go back and try to play those at 30 frames a second and you tell me that gotham knights being 30 frames a second is gonna be okay Play Spider-Man at 60 and then go back and play Gotham Knight. Or uh, go back and play uh, Batman Arkham Knight at 30 frames a second. You tell me. You tell me if the fluidity of that game is, is really not going to bug you. I don't want to have to spend two, three hours trying to get used to how to play a game at 30 frames a second again. And if I have to, then I don't want to pay 70 bucks for it. So, all right, man. I'm done talking about it. I, if you guys, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really do apologize if I if I made you if I if I made you guys upset over the whole Gotham Knights in 30 frames a second, but that's just how I feel, man. Like 60 frames a second, at least an option. No matter what, a 60 frames per second performance option to me is more important than a ray tracing option at 30 frames per second, man. I I could care less about the ray tracing on the consoles because once you've seen the ray tracing on the PC, like it just, it does not compare. It doesn't come close. It's not even worth the hit and freaking performance that you take for these next gen consoles until they've got like some really decent upscaling tech, you know, like a, like AI upscaling or something. I, I don't think that it's, I, me personally, I just don't think it's a viable option. So, all right. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.